VDOT crews, all well, traffic is moving smoothly right now, but VDOT crews were out again today working along Interstate 264 trying to fix the pothole problem. Today, Governor Bob McDonald says his new transportation plan will help to fund road improvements that could have been prevented on that 264 pothole disaster one month ago. The historic transportation plan from this year's General Assembly is the first transportation plan since 1986. Ten of your side's Andy Fox is standing by live in our newsroom now on how this new funding can help fix those potholes. Andy? Stephanie, we care a lot about potholes. The damage from this pothole event one month ago today will cost thousands and thousands of dollars. And part of the problem has been an attitude in the General Assembly to put road maintenance on the back burner. Governor McDonald says we will now be able to ensure funding goes towards making necessary improvements on 264 and 64. We are making sure this does not happen again, the governor writes. Commonwealth Transportation Board member Aubrey Lane says part of the pothole problem is a lack of adequate funding to keep the roads priority number one. Thankfully, the governor's transportation plan, and that, that which is the General Assembly has passed, gives us long-term monies to fix this road the way it has to be. Um, but I think that's one of the unintended consequences of trying to do with less. You accept lesser standards trying to get by. And a word, Aubrey Lane is saying, hey, what happened out there shows you what happens when you don't properly fund roads. In the past, the General Assembly has been crossing over funds, taking about $500 million a year from construction of new roads and putting it towards maintenance. Lane says this has led to the deteriorating roads, not only here in Hampton Roads, but all over Virginia. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Thanks, Andy. And tonight at 6, Andy will ask VDOT how many of the February 8th 200 pothole victims have been reimbursed. And you might be surprised by the way they responded. That's coming up at 6. Mm -hmm.